I am going to solve question number 10 of exam style questions of chapter number 8 of your book. In part 2, you have been asked to uh, write a procedure to display details of a specific member of staff which should be uh, passed as a parameter. So, I have written this name specific staff member details. Name will be passed to it. It will uh, uh, iterate through the whole loop when the specific name that is passed will be equal to that staff member's name standing at that location all the three details of that specific staff member will be uh, displayed on the screen and the last part says that you have to update the details of a specific member of staff using a parameter here named specific staff member details update it will take in a, a name as an argument uh, and it will iterate through the whole loop using this uh, for loop and it will update uh, that the, uh, the phone number app at that specific location to a, a different phone number and it will um, update the uh, office location of that specific member to some other office location and then it will again print all three values of that specific staff member so now i am going to call this these procedures first of all unordered list of staff will be displayed using this uh, when calling this procedure then we will call the procedure of arranging the staff members uh, uh, the list into an alphabetical order of staff names then I, I have again called that same procedure of staff in order to see the changed list uh, that will be displayed on the screen. And then in the end, uh, we will see that the uh, we will uh, see the details of only the staff um, member named as A. And uh, uh, in the end, we will see the updated uh, values of that uh, staff member A. You can see that when we have run this program, first of all, the uh, the complete details of all the staff members are printed over here on the screen, which is not an N in an alphabetical order. Then, after calling the function of uh, uh, for arranging uh, these uh, member details according to the alphabetical order of staff names, you can see now now the the second list is showing all the members which uh, whose names have been arranged in an alphabet, alphabetical mm -hmm. order and notice one more thing that over here uh, in the original program you can see uh, that uh, the uh, uh, that a was at second last number so second last phone number uh, of a is tri triple five and the office location is triple e and um, the, uh, in the output you can see that along with the arrange, uh, changing the position of A his uh, phone number is also shifted uh, with his name and his office location is also shifted with his name. Uh, then uh, the next program was supposed to uh, tell only the information of A because we had passed only A as the ar argument to uh, know uh, to print out his detail on the screen you can see that only a's information has been printed on the screen the last procedure was supposed to change the details of a and you can see that the details of a have been changed to triple seven and triple z because we had uh, in our program we wanted to change the uh, information of a, the given member to triple seven and triple z Thank you.